Oh my goodness, what is going on today? We are working on this right about now. I know I've been a little bit quiet lately. I've fallen off a little bit lately, but uh, this is sort of the latest thing I've been working on. So this is the Gen 4 style LS engine I've been working on lately. So it's from the 2008 GMC or Chevy truck, and it has the 58 times reluctance. A little bit of few differences from the Gen 3 stuff. The computer's different. The wiring's a little different. So right now, that's what I'm getting into is actually the wiring. And I am doing this budget oriented. So it's the factory truck harness from uh, 2008 Chevy truck with no DOD. I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not, but uh, there's no displacement on demand. No AFM because it's a 4.8 liter. So I got the factory harness. It's pretty simple actually. Everything just plugs in. I took some of the loom off, some of it was dirty. I thought about removing some of the stuff I don't need. There is a few things you don't need or that I don't need, including like air conditioning stuff and whatnot. But for the most part, this just plugs into the computer. Transmission control module just plugs in. This one here is the fuse block, the same, very similar to a Gen 3. I'm going to keep that. I'm actually going to be using the 2008 fuse block. And I think you can, uh, you can make that work relatively easy. This here is your body connector and it's got, it's got the electronic gas pedal and the OBD2 wires, which we will need. So I'm going to be keeping this one uh, fly by wire, no throttle cable this time. I got an electronic gas pedal here from a 2008 Chevy truck, Chevy or GMC truck. So what I've been doing since everything else just plugs right in, it's pretty much factory. I've been working on this. This plugs into the body harness here. So I got the other side of that, which actually came with the engine. Some of, some of this stuff came with the engine. So I had to go to the junkyard and get a harness because it was chopped, but this part here actually came with the engine, thankfully. And it plugs into here. And this would go into your cabin, I guess, on the trucks. So this is one thing that you actually need to wire up. You need to wire up your gas pedal and your OBD2 port. So... There's three rows of wires in here. This is what I've been working on lately. And I think I have a pinout diagram for this. I might throw up on the screen, but there's like three rows, A, B, and C. And after getting the proper pinout for these, I think it's row C. The one with the purple wires. Those are all for the gas pedal. So these all go to the gas pedal. And they're actually the same color because I got the little harness that goes with the gas pedal. You see the purple, light blue, tan, black, brown. These are all the same color. Light blue, dark blue, white, tan brown so I went and got some of these connectors I got some pinout diagrams and uh, I pinned out this connector and labeled them and then I pinned out the gas pedal and labeled them and I didn't really need to do that well I guess I did but 
turns out they're all the same color they're all in a row like everything just matches up nicely so from your body connector you have all the same colors as your gas pedal connector and they're all in a row on one side of the connector so that's kind of handy so all those go to your gas pedal they all kind of color coordinate but i probably will throw up some pinout diagrams anyway but you see the tan goes to the tan the dark blue goes to the dark blue the brown goes to the brown and uh doesn't really get much easier than that so that part i think i got that figured out for the gas pedal which should operate the throttle body and then i think it's on the opposite side there's like two wires for your obd2 port and these are going to be a little bit different because the gen 4 stuff is uh data bus or can bus so it has a twisted pair these two wires right here so i also got the obd2 port as well from the same vehicle i got the gas pedal from just like a 2008 truck from the junkyard and these these wires also will color coordinate so there's like a twisted pair on the obd2 port it's best to get it from like the same year same style truck because these are uh, the two wires for the data bus instead of the one wire like the gen 3 stuff i did on the firebird but you'll see that they do match up the colors and their twisted pair so I just took the OBD2 port and the wires and uh, pinned them out. I have a pin out diagram of that. And the only ones you really need is uh, the two ground wires, the same as Gen 3, and the two data wires which are gonna go to this body connector I'm working on here. And there's one power wire and I ran it here for now. These are bullet connectors so I can pull them apart. I'm probably gonna have to take them apart when I put this into the cabin of the vehicle or whatever. But uh, this power wire is supposed to be the uh, the current sensor, like for the current sensor that wraps around the, I think it's the negative wire. So that's actually the supply for that, but it should supply power to the OBD port just the same. So I think I'm gonna use that because it's just a power wire that's there. So there's a couple other wires there that you may or may not need, but I'm just focusing on the gas pedal obd2 port i can run the throttle i can plug in like a plug in a device to hopefully unlock the security on the computer when i'm ready so this will just plug into the engine harness and the engine harness has the computer plugs right here so i'll have to have all that hooked up when i try to unlock it this just plugs into the fuse block and that's going to be the next thing i work on i do have the fuse block and the plugs So I've got a fuse block here from that actually came with the engine. So the fuse block just plugs in here, but there's some uh, connectors. One of them goes here for the engine. I think this one might be the electric fans here. So I'm probably gonna keep those, probably wire up some electric fans. And this one here, I think it needs to have power with cut. So I'm probably gonna have to get another, another one of those from the junkyard or something. So basically I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna put power to this, plug in the fuse block, plug in the engine harness, and then I should be able to send power to one of these with the ignition, turn everything on. So we should only need a couple wires here and uh, that should be a cheap way to have a harness and fuse block to run this Gen 4 LS setup. 
So the factory harness just plugs into the engine, plugs into the fuse block, plugs into the computer, everything just plugs in. So it's a little simpler than you might think. The only thing you have to wire up is just a couple, couple things. Obviously the gas pedal because it's the drive by wire gen four stuff and the OBD two port plugs in here. I think I've got that pretty much all figured out. There is a couple, there is a couple wires here that there's one for the check engine light that you might want to use, but just this plug here and the fuse block is pretty much the only couple of wires that you need to wire up. I know it looks like a mess right now, but I actually just cleaned and painted the majority of the iron block, put a new oil pan on it. I'm just testing out some uh, mounts, some swap mounts and stuff. But there may be a few wires that you don't, you don't want to keep or that you might want to deep pin. So I might do that, like the rear O2 sensors or the AC wires. So I might actually go through the harness and deep pin them. Maybe not in this video. This video I might just touch on the gas pedal and the OBD2. Probably in the next video, I'll just touch on a pin out for this fuse block and just the minimum stuff that you need to make it run and how to depin them. So I think the easiest way and the way I'm gonna do it is gonna be keep the factory harness pretty much intact. And then instead of chopping this harness up, I'll just plug, I got the other side of this plug, so I'll just plug this into here. This is for the body harness. So I got the, this just plugs in here, goes to the gas pedal, the OBD2 port, and I can wire up that instead of chopping up the factory harness. Same as the fuse block. I'll just plug it into the fuse block and I'll work on the fuse block instead of, you don't have to mess, you don't have to cut into the harness or anything if you do it this way. And pretty much everything just plugs in aside from the little bit of wiring you have to do on the gas pedal and OBD2 port.